<laughs> Where I want to relate this to Detroit sports, though, is Jared Goff. And I wish Neil Rue was here so I could rub a, a big fat nan nan a boo boo. <laughs> I told you so type of thing. Because this guy says the Detroit Lions would have to re sign Jared Goff. Or just, th- th- this, that should not be a conversation at all whatsoever. Look at the caliber of player that Kyler Murray is over Jared Goff. Yeah. He didn't get this deal to what? The final year of his deal. Yeah. That's how this stuff works. Yeah. You Lamar Jackson hasn't guy. got paid yet. Yeah. You don't re-sign guys two, three years before the contract's up. Yeah. We have Jared Goff to 2024. You get a deal with $46 million. This is the new market set at for quarterbacks in the NFL. Jared Goff's currently being paid $31 million. You're telling me. Although we already have him guaranteed, if we wanted him, that's not even the case there. We have a whole other subject on that as well. We already have him for 15 less million dollars. Go off, King. Through 2024. Go off, King. And you said we're going to re-sign this man? Yeah, man. To go upwards of $46 million? Yeah. Tripping, dog. Tripping. Tripping, Tripping. Tripping. for sure. It's... You look at this, and like you said, this is this is Neil's whole thing about Jared Goff is that we have him at a discount to market. We have a starting quarterback at, you know, 15 mil less a year than what these starting quarterbacks are making. But Jared Goff isn't the caliber of quarterback as these guys. Jared Goff isn't the caliber exactly. of quarterback as a Kyler Murray, as a Lamar Jackson, who is going to get a stupid fat deal this year. Just wait oh, for yeah. it. As... A Patrick Mahomes who just got paid, and Aaron Rodgers who just got paid. These are top shelf, top flight quarterbacks. Jared Goff is not one of these guys. It's Jared Goff, we talked about it before. He is in that Jimmy G range. He is that mid tier guy. He's a guy that can win you some games. Sure. He's better than I don't think he's twenty sixth as he was ranked. I don't I don't think he's that bad of a quarterback, but I don't think he's I think he's bottom third. I'll I'll say that. I think he's yeah, a bottom absolutely. third quarterback, and you can't justify re-signing a guy like that when you're already paying him $30 million a year. Yeah, early, too. Early. Let me say that. He, we have him in, in contract to 2024 at cheaper money. Like, it makes zero fucking sense. I'm sorry for swearing, guys, but, like, fuck. That's the stupidest shit. Detroit Dabber says, yeah, I heard. We're not going to mention them. Random station was saying all day this means the Lions have to extend Goff and give him the bag. Yeah. Shut the hell up. No, they don't. They still have this guy under contract. Yeah. He's never going to get a contract again in his career to the caliber of the one he got with the Rams. He will never get paid that much money ever again. He is not worth $35, $40 million a year. I don't care how much you like the guy. You can't look me in the eye and say Jared Goff is worth as much money as Kyler Murray. It doesn't make sense. It's not true. He doesn't have the escapability. He doesn't have the downfield passing. He doesn't have the mobileness that Kyler Murray does. The explosiveness he brings to the game. It's not there. Jared Goff is a game manager. He is a guy that will win you games when everything else around him is is perfect. Not a guy that will go out there and snatch the soul out of a chest of another team. Uh, snatch the soul out of the chest of a defense. That's not what he is. That's who you pay $40 million to. That's who you re-sign to a deal once you have. That is not Jared Goff. And even then, that same caliber of player that Spinners is talking about wasn't re-signed to the final year of his deal. Because that's the way business works. If I have you locked up, no matter how you want, like, you may want more money, yeah. but I have you locked up to 2024, no. Sorry, buddy. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, you, that's what you signed. Oh, and you had your hand up. I apologize. No, yeah. I was going to say, especially with the draft class that's coming in for quarterbacks into this upcoming draft, yes. yeah. it's phenomenal. I love some of the guys in this draft. Just to start, Bryce Young, C.J. Stroud, Will Levis, Sam Hartman, uh, Tyler Van Dyke. You can keep on going. Yeah. There's a lot of options. Jared Goff's not that guy. He's not that guy, pal. And like Murph said in the chat, Mahomes' deal is going to be a bargain in five years. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that's what we Maybe. always we've said that. So look what happened with Stafford when they paid Stafford, and he was the highest paid quarterback in the NFL. Everybody's like, oh my god, Stafford's not the best quarterback. Why is he making so much money? And then you look <laughs> at it in two years awesome when Matt though. Ryan gets a deal, when Aaron Rodgers gets a deal, when all these other guys get deals and they're getting paid more than Matthew Stafford because the price of a brick goes up. Market dictates salary. And Jared Goff is not in the same market as these top-flight quarterbacks. That's like telling me you're going to pay Jimmy Garoppolo $45 million a year. Exactly. It's not going to happen. Baker Mayfield can barely find a team that wants him. And people think he's better than Jared Goff. Like, stop it. 
Jared Goff flees the Rams. He'll never see a deal like that again for the rest of his career. 100%. 100%. And, and even, like, jumping into another topic we have, and, and I don't, maybe I'm doing a little bit too early, but, like, the Detroit Lions aren't even fully committed to this guy. Yes. They've straight up, like, Brad Holmes, the general manager of the Detroit Lions, has said this publicly in interviews. Like, if a guy's truly the guy, we're keeping him long term. Oh, we might even re-sign him. You're not saying that type of stuff in interviews, man. And I, you brought up a perfect example with Jimmy G. That's the caliber of quarterback you're comparing Jared Goff to. Yes. Jimmy G is another guy well on his way out of the door. Getting usurped by Trey Lance. Yes. Yes. 100%. And Trey Lance, I mean, we are we argued it back and forth last Friday. He's only started two games in the NFL. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, just stop. Just stop, 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 stop. Any radio stations, it, I can't even do it. There's do a guy it. in our network doing it. Talking Who? about re-signing Jared Goff. Who? Neil? Yeah. No, he's worried. He says he's worried that Jared Goff is the Lions guy. That's He, he said it today. He's like, he's he said worried. it again today? He said he's worried that he's their guy. I want you to do me a favor. He doesn't. He wants to draft a quarterback. Yeah. You know what, Owen? We got a video in there. Brad Holmes on the Rich Eisen show. Would you mind finding that? And yeah, playing I'll it? find it. So um, the quarterback spot <laughs> in Detroit has um, uh, been bandied about. Lots of talk about golf and year two and what Dan Campbell thought of year one and what the 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 um, the group thought of year one. Um, you're uh, sticking with golf for a long term still um, up in the air or that's your plan because you didn't take a quarterback in the draft a rookie QB Brad yeah you know um, we felt very confident going into this year um, as as Jared Jared being the guy um, to to lead us at quarterback um, but at the same time you know we were open in we, we we had you know very transparent conversations about you know look if if, if the right guy is there and it's the right fit then we'll 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 look into that and um, I will say what we did want to do is we didn't want to force anything in terms of you know well you know we got to grab a quarterback and, and and if it's not if it's not the right fit if it's not the right player um, you know just still grab a quarterback and. We just didn't really have that feeling um, as as we went through that through that process. Now you know there was times in the draft where it was looking like it it, it could have happened, um, but it, it just didn't. But at the same time, we didn't force it. In most situations where guys like their quarterback and the guy is going to stay there for a while, the GM would then say, "Oh, he's our guy. He's there for sure. Like there's no question about it." Much like the Arizona Cardinals did when Kyler Murray was throwing his fits, deleting stuff out of his Instagram bios and whatnot. That wasn't the case. Brad Holmes says, if there was a guy there we felt confident in, we were open to making a move. Yeah. However, there just wasn't. And the NFL proved that. We didn't see – there was only one quarterback that went in the first round. And I don't think we saw another one until the third round in Malik Willis. But this is what just the, the observation of this quarterback class just wasn't, wasn't that great. And, and like, I just, just proves it even further to me that Jared Goff isn't the guy. I mean, mm-hmm. this is a public – you know what I'm saying? This is an open interview. That we clipped, obviously, from YouTube. This is two months ago, by the way. Yeah, this is a while ago. Directly was, after the draft, because everyone training. was curious. A lot of people thought, don't, and don't say it was just us, a lot of people thought the Detroit Lions were going to address the quarterback situation in this draft. For sure. Now, whether it, was gonna be, it wasn't going to be a guy starting this year, because, again, this quarterback draft was, was iffy. Yeah. A guy probably would have had to sit year regardless. But nonetheless, they didn't do it at all. But I just, like, we're not golf haters, guys. I'm only we're only bringing this stuff up to show you like this is just the reality of the situation. Which is realistic. It's yeah. We know who he is. We know what he is by what he's shown us so far in his NFL career. It's you know what you have when you have it, and it's 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 tough for me to to side with these people. Obviously, yeah. If if golf goes out there and proves us wrong, and throws for four thousand yards, thirty touchdowns, I'll be the first one to say it. Wow, amazing, great job. They're gonna they should be in the playoffs undoubtedly if he does that but it's not going to happen that's not who he is that's not the type of quarterback he is so us saying this us saying we want him not gone and we're not we're not running him out of town we know what he is where he is what he's filling for this team but they're going to get a quarterback in the draft next year i guarantee it i guarantee it no matter if that's trading up to get a guy Getting a guy where they fall, depending on what draft pick they get. Getting a guy later, they're taking a court. They have to. You literally have to. Yeah. Even outside of golf, if golf's not your guy, look at the backup situation on this team. 
If you expect this team yeah. to be competitive, injuries happen in the NFL. Jared Goff misses three games, you lose every single one of those games. David yeah. Blount and Tim Boyle are not winning any games, yeah, no I mean, matter what. Brad Holmes openly said there's a guy there. He's going to get him. Yeah. I think we found out through this year's draft, the Jamison Williams trade, if, you know, if there's a guy that Brad Holmes like, he's going to get him. Or he's going to shoot a shot to. He's not going to overexert himself. You know, we, we didn't sign. It was a safety from the Saints that the Marcus we, Williams. Marcus Williams didn't give him the big deal that he wanted. But nonetheless, I'm not tell, I'm not saying golf is bad. I'm saying he's just not the future, guys. Yeah. Like this this isn't the guy going forward, especially paying him on 31 million dollars, getting the production that you, you're getting out of him. Like the same level stuff that we can get out of a Baker Mayfield, yeah. who's getting paid six million, I think, after the trade. Like it's just. You got to be real about the situation. You can win with Jared Goff. Yeah. And don't get me wrong. I think the Detroit Lions have the perfect setup to win with Jared Goff and that, you know, we can surround him with rookie contracts because we do have these extra <laughs> draft picks. However, in the long run, I just don't think that's going to be the case. We, we'll have, someone say something funny in the chat. Yeah, Epic said I was blaming you guys. Owen's good. <laughs> but I, you know, I'm looking at this and like we said, they're saying – Izzy says, I hate Jared Goff. It's no, I know what Jared Goff is. It's, I'm, I'm a realistic fan of the sport. It's like one of the brightest offensive minds in the NFL today traded him and two first round picks for another aging quarterback. Like he said, Here, you can take Goff. I'll give you a first round pick. And here's another one just so you take him and give me Matt Stafford. Like, come on, guys. It's. I loved Matt Stafford when he was here. Big Matt Stafford guy. I loved him, Cobble. I loved him, Cobble. I'm a big <laughs> Matt Stafford guy. I think he's a great quarterback. Yeah. I think he is twice the quarterback that Jared Goff is. And 100%. he's proven it. Yeah, without question, he's, he's twice the quarterback. He's proven it. He took the team to the Super Bowl his first year and won it. Dog, when that trade Something happened. Something Jared Goff couldn't do. When that trade happened, Michael Brockers over me was like, finally, we got a quarterback. Yeah. And then he got traded to the Lions. Lions too. Yeah. Like, guys, we're not haters, bro. We're being real. Like, this is – that was Jared Goff's teammate in L.A. for multiple years. They've gone to the Super Bowl together. Like, this, these are clear observations. I've said all the time, Sean McVay. So get this guy the fuck out of yeah. here, bro. Like, give me a real quarterback <laughs> to work with. He saw enough. And, and when he got one and a guy, Matthew Stafford, who, who – let's be real about it. Yo, in Detroit, he has had some teams around him. Yeah, just never always like you know lived all completely up. But when he had a guy with some potential, he won a fucking Super Bowl. Yes, year one. Yeah, he's had teams around him, but there's a difference between having, you know, a team around you one year, and having an established culture, with a great head coach, a stable front office, mm -hmm. and a loaded squad. Like like that squad was loaded. Yeah, and they needed one piece. Because they knew Jared Goff wasn't it. One Piece is because crazy good this week. One One Piece was crazy good this week. <laughs> but there's no doubt. Like, even you could say it's a team game. Uh -huh. You could say it's the ultimate team game. Quarterback is by far the most important position. Yes. And it is extremely hard, especially in today's NFL, to win at the highest level when you don't have an elite quarterback. Period. Uh, D. Smitty in the chat says, he, so he actually took this a different way, which I don't know how. He literally said he was open to grabbing somebody else, but he says that's a testament to their confidence in golf, though. The rookie QBs obviously wasn't much better. Plus, as soon as Holmes and Campbell gets their QB, the job's officially on the line. That, how is that a testament to the confidence in Cobb? Like, he, he just said, that, yeah, like we're definitely open to grabbing someone that we believe in. Yeah. There just wasn't anyone we, we, you know, we believed in. Yes. And that's. It's quite literally, like, there's no. You know, off kiltered message behind that. It's kind of plain black and white. That's a testament to Brad Holmes being infinitely smarter than any GM the Lions have ever had before him. Yeah. Because you look at what the Lions did before him. They drafted Matthew Stafford immediately. He was there. Obviously, I mean, you can't say it's the wrong pick. Yeah. But he didn't have anything around him other than Calvin Johnson. They didn't have a complete team. And look at how much he struggled. Look at how much that they did just to get into the playoffs. Right now, what Brad Holmes is doing is what 99% of the rest of the NFL does. And that's builds a team and then grabs a quarterback. In this league, that is what you have to do. You build your team. You build a complete team. And you draft a quarterback to put him in there. Or you go out and you trade for one. Look at, look at all the teams that have done it. Denver did it. Cleveland did it. You know, uh, 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 Tampa Bay did it. Like, you, you, you build the team first because the quarterback is the most expensive and most important part of the team. 
So you build your team. You get these guys. You get top flight defensive ends. You get top flight receivers. And then once you have a complete team built from the trenches out, you get a quarterback and you let him lead them to victory. 100%. And with Jared Goff, like he's a guy that you need to surround him with talent. In yes. L.A., that was the case. Now, they didn't win the big one, but they won games nonetheless. And, again, that's the situation we have here in Detroit currently with Jared Goff. And, I mean, I saw Epic in the chat, so he's legit excited for Jamison. Me, too. Me, too. We just got temper a little bit because we're not going to see him week one. But, nonetheless, I am excited. He does have weapons. I'm around St. Brown. Uh, Jamison Williams. Yo, hold DJ on. DJ Shark. DJ Shark. TJ Hawkinson. Yeah. DeAndre Swift. Like, no excuses Quintus for this guy Seif. this year. <laughs> I, yeah, Quintez Seif. I'll, I'll put it out there. No, I, I like, like Quintez Seif. I like Seif too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think he can – I think we could win games with him this year. I've obviously been on record saying that I don't think 10 wins is crazy. I think it's a realistic possibility. Um, we have the team for it. I just in the long run, I'm just sick of having the conversation. Yeah. I'm more specifically sick of people talking about re-signing this guy. Give me some 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 give me some